you to meet Lily. She's only nine years old. And get this, she spends anywhere from 12 to 20 hours a week hooked up to equipment to save her life while she waits for a life-saving organ. Take a look. One day she woke up saying, I don't feel good. I knew something wasn't right. We took her into the ER and they did labs and sent us home. And the doctor called me a few days later and said, it's done, we gotta, we gotta do this. That was on a Wednesday and Friday morning she had her kidneys removed. We always knew this was going to be the end result, that a transplant was going to happen. They found uh, FSGS, which is focal segmented glomerulosclerosis, which generally means um, the filters of her kidneys are scarring over. She was always declining. She, she never really responded to anything. Uh, she even did rounds of seven rounds of a chemotherapy called uh, rituximab. Still didn't work. Nothing worked. So it was just trying everything we could to, to slow it as much as we could. Both kidneys were removed laparoscopically and uh, in the hospital for five days. And at home, for about another week, she went back to school nine days after her, uh, her nephrectomy, which was incredible. She, um, she takes, she has to take pills but every time before she eats, three pills before she eats. So she's taking usually anywhere between, um, you know, nine and 15 pills just for, before eating and that's not including her other meds. Everything is, is highly controlled because there's no way for her to um, expel any toxins, any waste, anything that normally builds up. Lily is absolutely obsessed with cats. She always has a pair of cat ears on. And as you can see, you know, she's just the little little kitten everywhere. Lily, as a person, she's just so sweet and so kind and just loves helping me and my mom at home. She loves to cook. She's learning how to sew. She's so creative, loving. She loves animals. Um, horses, cats, dogs, anything she can cuddle with. She's definitely just a loving, sweet spirit. She doesn't dread going to dialysis. And so we're usually here between five and six hours, three times a week. We wouldn't be able to get through this without this place. They just make it easier. This is such a hard thing for anybody to go through, but as a child that doesn't really grasp the magnitude and understand what's happening to them. These, these nurses just make it bearable. They make them smile. They, every single child in here gets special treatment. They feel like the most special patient in the room. They provide games, they provide distractions, they do parties, trying to provide fun, but for child, fun is the work of childhood and to provide that for them as much as possible while they're in this space. Every single person that we encounter is uplifting and encouraging and those are the things that make life at PCH different than any other place that we've been. I want her to be carefree and just enjoy being young and being a kid. I want her to, to live a long, healthy, stable life that is a struggle right now. I couldn't ask for a better, better little kid than, than my Lily. So as you can imagine, you know, we fall in love with all yes, these kids, do. but you know, Lily has been in and out of the hospital her entire life. This mm -hmm. is all she knows here. So she and of course her family really appreciate any donations that you can pick up the phone and make today. Absolutely.